Tips are not required, but appreciated. <laughs> I want to make that really clear. Tips are not required. You are not obligated to tip, but it is very appreciated if you, when you do and, you know, grateful and all that. But a lot of people seem to forget about that system. They just think that they are entitled to that tip. They they better get that tip. Like if you're doing a service like DoorDash, Uber, Grubhub, whatever, that I, I'm getting that tip in my hand. And you know what? Tipping got out of hand here because, you know, in other countries, and I know y'all heard this, they don't even do that. Like that's, <laughs> and that's not even a thing in other countries like that. So here people just went insane with the whole tipping system. So my thought on this, I'm going to throw my two cents on this real quick. Now, long story short, this whole conversation, it was between me and uh, another door dasher. And <clears throat> I'm not going to say any names. because I don't want to get deactivated, <laughs> but I'm not going to say any names. Now, the thing is, dude got mad and was like, oh, you know, this person paid like $50 for this food and all I got was a $2 tip. That's messed up. Um, and I'm like, well, I mean, at least you got a tip. <laughs> and then he got mad. It was like, well, it should be more than that because, you know, he paid like $50. I'm supposed to at least get 10. I'm like, you know what? That's you. you, you and I, I just kind of let it go from there because if I had to kept going, he would have got mad. Anyway, I understand that's his job. You know, he wants, you know, want to make that, that bread and butter, that tip money and stuff. But you can't expect customers to always tip especially that much nowadays. I mean, they are not required to put that money in your pocket all the time. Like you gotta be realistic, man. Like you gotta be like, you gotta understand that not every customer can do that. Like, yeah, they may have enough money to pay for that, to get there. Cause some, and I know some people are gonna say, well, you know, if they got enough money for delivery, then they damn sure got enough money for tip. But there are some customers that just don't have the um, mobility to go and get the food themselves. So they are grateful that there is a service out there that can provide that. Now, they just may not have enough money to tip all the time. Like, I mean, if they ordering sometimes once in a while, they may tip. But it's just that day they just didn't have the money to tip you. So <laughs> you got to be realistic about this. But anyway... I just want to make this clear that I understand both sides. I understand, you know, as a, cause I'm a door dasher, Uber eats all that. Um, and yeah, tip does help. It, it, it does help. But am I, I am, I'm going to bash customers for not tipping. No, because you're not required to. And what you do, I do appreciate that. But I'm not going to make a fit about it because you didn't tip. And I'm damn sure not going to make a, a fuss about it because you tipped the $2 or $1. Sorry, guys. I had a DoorDash that popped up and I forgot that the thing was on. So I had to turn it off. Uh, anyway, this whole tip thing, it is getting out of hand. And I understand, you know, people live off of this, like bartenders or servers and all that, that, that. They um, rely on these tips and customers may not always have the money for that. Like, I'm sorry. Like they may not have hundreds of dollars to spare just because they went that one night to go eat out. It doesn't mean that they have extra ten dollars or so for, you know, they, they just they just can't. They just don't. Some people do. Some people don't. But again, they're not obligated to tip. So stop ticking them off and pressuring them like they have to and getting angry and throwing plates or whatever. So you just need to chill with that. And it's it, the same that goes for like, you're not obligated to work there. I know people will say, well, you know, that's the only job I can get. That's not true. There's plenty of jobs you can probably find that's, you know, that's not tip base and you can work somewhere else. I'm not trying to bash on you. If that's what you like, that's fine. But you can't get mad off of customers because they don't want to tip you. 
If you feel that they are not tipping well or they don't not tipping at all or whatever, then just go find something else where you can rely on a stable paycheck rather than a tip money. So again, you know, I hope this don't offend the people because I don't want people getting mad and beat me up but like, oh, you know, tips forever, tip them. Again, I'm not bashing on everyone. I'm just saying that it is not the customer fault or the employee for fault. It is the owner that that actually, honestly, is the government because they <laughs> let the owner pay the customer, I mean, not customer, pay the employee like $4, $3 an hour, and they just make it up on tip. So like, that's not the, no one's fault, but the owner themselves or the uh, government or whatever, you know, but anyway, sorry, I needed that quick water break because it's like 90 degrees in here. But anyway, let me wrap this up real quick. Again, you're not obligated to to tip or whatever. And this also fall in line with YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and all that stuff as well. Because I know I'm going to get hate for this when it comes to those communities. And they like, oh, that's our money. You better not screw that up. You know, don't tell customers and stuff that they can't do that. You know, I'm telling them that they are not obligated or they don't have to you know, smash that like button or hit that subscribe button you know, or whatever. Just because it's free, it doesn't mean that they have to do it. I appreciate it when they do. And it does help the algorithm and all that for that video to go up. But it takes like, even though it takes a split second, it's still their time. And, you know, their time is precious. So should I force them to do that? No, I'm not going to do that. This is why I don't ask for that. This is why in my videos, I don't like to ask for any of that uh, because, and I have asked for it like one time in one of the videos, but I don't, I don't do that because I realized that the time's just precious. This is your time. I'm even grateful y'all even clicked on the video to begin with and look at it, but I'm not going to ask y'all, hey, subscribe here now, smash that like button, smash it like it's a panda bear. I mean, not panda bear, like a, a, a watermelon or whatever. I, I Forgive me, panda bear. So anyway, guys, what do y'all think about the whole situation? Well, like the whole tipping culture, did it get out of hand? Did it get crazy? Is it, it's just, I don't know. Maybe I just, that's how I feel. I just feel that I don't like, I don't like to ask people those things like, and, and it's just, it's just people just get out of hand when they do like we go to like Starbucks and you go to subway and there's like a, the tip system right there, right in front of you. I'm like, yeah, all I did was, um, bought a soda and you asked me to tip 20 percent <laughs> i'm like come on like i just bought like a coke that was like two dollars and you want me to tip like 20 percent of that like chill man but anyway i digress tell me what you guys think sorry for the long video i'm out